An insanely China biased panel, Ben. No one it, believes in secret. No one believes in the highest MMR player. Do. I think it's the right call. You, oh, you mid one. That's troublesome. In behind the tower, Freeze diving in deep. The flame guard's enough of a burn to get the kill. Freeze will end up going down. Pilot Eye was in the neighborhood. Thing about Wisp too, you can split push very, very effectively. And I think they are going to need to do that. Lord, more trouble on mid lane for mid one. MP bottom lane. Frostbite's there. It was an Omni Knight, just Invis jumping through the rear, ha takes the damage from the Purification, and it will be enough with the DJ in order for him to die. Can't make it to the stack to deny himself everything. Well, this game could go for a while then. Mid one's gonna take out that top tower, top net worth by far, but the relocate pilot eyes come in with MP. They want RTK, but while the repel's up, they can't do much. It'll come down. Purification, Fenrir gets the slow and aggressive. He wants something, but pilot eye in two seconds' time will take MP back to safety. So it's Keizu as well as mid one on the run, but look who's coming up again. Fenry, uh, FY as well as Freeze. In through the south, Spirit jump forward. He'll be out of Searing Chains over on both. Nope, mid one, Frost bitten up. Still got the ulti off and Freeze taking too much damage. They need to kill off mid one with a slider fist. He'll actually die to the end ultimate, giving mid one a double kill, but Keizu stands his ground. Wow. Throw your G repel GA combo and then your second round of purification. Do you up. want this aggressive? He's brought the tower within deny range now, so he does take it. Keizu gonna rotate in, but here comes the Eclipse with the relocate. It's difficult to get away. The Guardian Angel's taking up so much of this damage, so they will survive to kill off Pilai Die. RTK, not enough life to actually give back to aggressive, or is it? It will be enough with a Frostbite creating space. There's a four second stun on the Crystal Maiden, and she's dying to Phantasm. Fenrir can stick up quickly. Nova, he's got a Frostbite available too, and they'll trigger the shrine. So Fenrir will survive. Io will fall. They claim the tier one tower. Full protection for him now. Perfect observe ward watching aggressive farming up top lane. However, that silence being released over on Freeze. RTK will break him free. Mid one, they're focusing on the Io. They need him to go down in order then to kill off that BKB up Shadow Fiend. They're able to achieve it. Pretty much what needs to happen for him right there. Oh, Push Poppy. Him. He's got a Yule oh. Scepter, cancels the TP out, the Orchid's down, and there's no spirit to jump out to. Mid one with a raise. Ends up killing all Freeze. All Freeze wanted to do is add a little bit of pressure to the top lane. And now they're going to be scared. Yeah, but SF has BKB, so you can't really go on him. Chaos Knight also hey, has BKB. just timed out. The jump forward, aggressive, able to get that BKB off with the two seconds done on the RTK. There's that swap again from FY, pulling back the Omni Knight. They have to trigger up the Shrine, but the force is in there from Team Secret, looking to push it to the melee racks. RTK just goes in. Three seconds done on him. Aggressive. The damage output is not too bad, but then again, it's just not enough. Team Secret is so far ahead in this game. They just don't have the power. A quick push in. It's actually Actually, mid one going for it with his Hurricane Pike, trying to kill off FY. One more attack will do the job. More bounty rolling his way. And with the relocate out, they don't even get the kill on that front. It's RTK, stunned up, an ultra kill for mid one. He just reset, re-pushed, and rampaging through everything VGJ offers. Will it be a double? No, it won't. MP will take it on a bee stick of life. And they're going for the GG push, and rightly so. VGJ have nothing left in the tank to defend that. I MMR wins games. Mid one. Jeez. And so RTK on the lead you commander to cause some trouble. Man, mid one needs some help right now. The kick comes through from FY, rolling boulder as well, and freeze. The perfect line strike array, another advantage of having that that early on. Pilot Eye is doing the pull, but RTK doesn't have dual just yet, but with the high movement speed, thanks to his phase boots, Fenrir. Let off everything he's got. Pilot Eye, the Shadow Word's giving him just enough life to potentially survive. Back onto the Tier 2 tower. Pilot Eye's so low. They've come in deep for this one. And MP, what do you really do against this? You shard forward and you block in Fenrir. With the walls, with MP, maybe with a stun forward. FY, the space, the stun strike from mid one. It'll be able to connect. And MP, making a break for the tree line. Needs to stay hidden. RTK, so doesn't have anything else to really fight with yet. He doesn't have the mana for it. Okay, trying to find any stragglers. Did Fenrir see it? The ping's coming out, he knows the wolves are on top, but the bounty ring got taken underneath the Observer Ward. So rolling boulder over, Fenrir in the trees, wants to get out of this one, but it won't be possible. Quick kill for MP, now they move over to RTK, quick press the attack. Phase boots on cooldown for half a second, he's actually turning to try and fight this with the support of Aggressive who's rotated up. FY needs the rolling boulder kick. 
to find the target, and MP is going to be it. The kick won't connect over on Puppy, bringing the Sigil out, slow everything down. You can, but with Laguna Blade from Freeze, the damage is enough. The Sunstrike's looking for its target, but RTK, he stuck around just a little bit longer, so Sunstrike never connected, and it's Puppy trying to stay in the trees before Freeze and FY are able to connect on him. And with the Light Strike Array, Puppy is locked in position and brought down. Freeze is looking for his next target. Laguna Blade just comes off cooldown. There's just enough mana, but then Snowball forward. Freeze caught out. The Light Strike Array connects on three. The Sun Strike, the damage is good on Freeze, but Fly, FY, can't create enough space. All he's going to do, or maybe he can. Aggressive comes in from behind. Keizu is just food to him. So it's a one for one trade off the Earth Spirit for the Centaur. It's kind of just what you need to do. They're looking for a big fight on bottom lane. You start with the upheaval. Pilot Eye has the rock. And you can see Team Seek with the second Pilot Eye hit that level six. They want to try and fight aggressive with the rage. He doesn't know Keizu's there. Getting body blocked up a little bit. Now the Sentry Ward is down. They understand it. And the charge forward. The shards will hold aggressive down. The rock will hit. They're stunned over on two. Aggressive able to dodge it thanks to the infest, but cannot dodge the cold snap. There's Team Secret, Puppy, not a healthy man, wants to TP out, he'll actually survive, no, the duel, RTK blinks in, takes out the captain of Team Secret, and is looking for more. Yeah, well, he could have been both. Kezu, rolling ball to forward, the silence is absolutely perfect, but the Fatal Bonds connected, but the three kick is there from FY once again, Snowball has to be used by Puppy to protect him, Sunstrike right in the mark, it's going to connect over on Freeze, FY not a healthy man either, but Fenrir standing on the back line is doing the damage, FY 22 HP, he can't rolling boulder away, the walls were there to do the damage, but now it's Puppy, he's going to go down, Fenrir claiming his fourth kill of the game, he only ever does it in twos, and Aggressive is looking for more as well, under the tower, there's no mana, RTK can't duel, now he's Fatal Bonds up to the creep wave, and getting Cold Snap down. No way for him to survive in too deep, and it's mid one who'll take the killing spree from him. They need a smoke if they want to make this fight happen. They, observe, they, they actually might need a gem soon, but I don't think they're in the economic position to do so. RTK wants to jump. That observe war doesn't see enough. They go for the silence over on K2. There's your jump forward. It's going to be Puppy is the one brought down by the infest combo, but Lycan running forward. Mask Command is tricked. It takes so much damage. Freeze the Sun Strike. He'll connect with the Rock and Final Bonds together. VGJ, their fates are tied. But for how long? They'll back out as far as they can. Back into the fight. MP, not a healthy man. FY can't do enough damage to bring Lycan into that critical place. Or maybe he can. The Magnetize armor toggled through and then in range of the shrine. So one for one trade off Keizu, jumping forward, he has to create space for Pilot Eye to survive as Fenrir couldn't get the last glaive in, so he'll fall for it as well. MP with a double kill, the Ice Wall, VGJ, they just can't run, they're forced to stay in their ground, but Freeze needs to do the damage from the side, Aggressive will finally go down, MP with a triple kill, oh they can turn their attention God. towards the Lina, but the double light strike array, it will not be enough, just keep running Freeze, the Laguna play, but it's not enough, mid one, pushes him back with a deafening blast. He'll find the kill, and it is all out war. It was a 5-4 trade-off in that fight, and we're not done yet. FY, I can't get in range of mid one. Mid one's out. He's home. He's hosed. I guess Global Silence, which isn't up right now. Are they going to catch Aggressive? That's oh, a big one. If my. they can kill him off, the Sun Strikes on the mark. Aggressive. Can he toggle his way back up the hill? The Silence is there for the Deafening Blast from mid one. It'll help connect with Hard Eye that found the kill. Puppy will trade his life for it. Remember, they did commit the rock to go for this fight as now you look for that Legion, the jump, and he can't do it, not while he's being cold snapped up, but his bottom line is the distraction game. MP pushing in through the bottom, looking for that melee racks. FY wants the kick, but he can't stop it. The duel will begin. That'll keep MP off it. If he can only just do enough work, MP will end up falling. The melee racks is still alive for the moment. The mid one will be able to finish the job. Uh, right now, it's only 5,000 ish in favor but like oh jump half stomp perfect oh. target is over on aggressive but aggressive the shards again pushing him out of range he'll toggle it out the rock will fall not really perfect on the hits but aggressive cannot outrun mp rtk actually jumped into the middle of it he allowed for the infest escape but keizu still hopping the tail they're gonna lose everybody here vgj try and stand their ground but mp comes back to just munch on the bones that is the corpses of vgj even gems of true sights being dropped. Invoker is on the run. He's trying to chase after Freeze. He's up there with FY, but it won't matter if MP goes straight through the mid. 
The bottom lane's already pressured in. He doesn't even have to wait. That's why the Wolves are attacking into the range. But it's Invoker being brought down by Freeze. The damage with the Magnetize, it may almost be enough. Freeze will actually get the kill on this, followed with Laguna Blade in the Puppy. It almost feels like a consolation prize. With the push down, Freeze's attack will follow through. The mid racks was mopped up. Nice. That's pretty low. I, I like. You oh, do. FY. What did he get? He found Tusker. Snowball forward, rolling boulder back out again. Aggressive wants something here, but the sigil is out from Puppy. The shards. FY were rolling boulder up. Aggressive. He's got just enough movement speed to get back to the tier four towers. But up on top, that's where your battle is. RTK down for 71 seconds. The BKB was triggered, but mid one's just too strong. The global silence is out. Team Secret a little bit deep inside the base, but I don't think MP really cares. He's munching on Fenrir underneath the tier four towers. Turns attention towards FY, Diffuser Blade taking off the Ghost after FY with just enough life. He'll get back, but GG is already called from ROTK. This game is done and dusted. Team Secret will take their first game of the Kiev Major out 2-0. to zero. Teams will move up to that upper bracket, and Secret did not have an easy matchup in the round one. None yeah. of the teams did, really.